Hi there, Jason, the collector. Um, I got another video for you. This one I'm going to do my handhelds. And man, do I have a lot of different handhelds. Handhelds people probably never even knew existed. Uh, but I got them because I basically collect everything. So, uh, I guess first of all, we'll start off with this system right here. This is called the Microvision. Came out in the early 80s. Might be the first handheld system ever. Um, as you can see, it's... Uh, Oh, I even have a battery in there. It's uh, what you do is you buy these games and they plop up on top of here And then you turn it on and this is a dial controller most games this blockbuster is like a breakout And all the games are in black and white. It's not a very big screen There's no color to it and the games are not that good, but as far as collectability goes um, It's cool just to have it as a piece of history and I actually have two of these and these are all the games for the system I have all the games that were released I played all of them uh, bowling wasn't bad the Star Trek game wasn't bad connect Four mind buster um, so not a great system for playing games but piece of history so I like it and then you got the select game machine another real early handheld games I got one in the box and one loose and the games go in the bottom here you click it on, turn it on, and you can actually play two person, one person on this side, another person on that side. And this is really rare, hard to find. Um, and there was uh, about 10 cartridges. I only have these four for it. Um, but I'll try to get more of them as time goes on. Uh, then let's go to a real bad system right here. Uh, we have the GameCom. Uh, I have in box and loose. Uh, this is just a collection for just the sake of actually having the games. Uh, these are all the games I have for the system, all still sealed, and they'll probably stay sealed because uh, the games are not that good. But I like have I just like collecting stuff because that's what I do. Okay, let's uh, let's jump over here, and I just have this system right here, which is the. Uh, Tiger one that snaps onto your head and there's a little screen that I'm missing. I don't have any games for it yet, but this again is another bad system. I just have it because it is a video game. Uh, right here I have the Turbo Express with the TV tuner that no longer works because analog signals are no longer allowed. But this is really good. I got about 60 Turbo Graphic games to play with this. This is a really good system. And then this is the Zodiac tapeware. I got two systems, another handheld, and here's all the games I have for the system. And even though they come in these big DVD boxes, that's how big the game is. I haven't really played these yet, but I will get to it. Uh, see how games like Duke Nukem and Spy Hunter are. Doom 2, they gotta be halfway decent, at least I hope. Uh, Sega Nomad, that's the Sega Genesis handheld system in box plays all Genesis. I think there's a few that don't work with this system, but uh, they do play most of the system. I got the Sega Game Gear boxed. I even have the carrying case. I have the, that one with the carrying case and just in regular box. Loose one with the battery pack on back. And I do like the Game Gear. And I even have the Master System converter. One in box and one loose so you could actually play Sega Master System games on it. Uh, let's see, next up uh, we got the Supervision. Another game system not that good. Um, I played a few games, I got them loose down here. These are all my loose games I have for the system, and then these are all my... Whoop! These are all... Whoa! My complete. These are still sealed, probably stay sealed for a while because these are not that good of games, but I have them because I collect them. Uh, next up, the Atari Lynx uh, came out in the early 90s. Atari still trying to get back in the video game uh, universe after some failed attempts at the 7800 and some computers. I got the pouch carrying case. I got the battery adapter and the uh, sun visor screen. And if you get up top here, these are all the games I got for the system. I showed this on one of my earlier videos. If you look at my uh, Atari video, I have all but about five or six of the games, and most of these are still sealed. A lot of people really like that collection. And uh, let's move over here then. Um, 
Oh, let's do the end gauge. The end gauge system. Um, it's in there. Let me pull it out real quick. It uh, was known as the, it's a phone, and everybody made fun of it because it was like talking into a taco. And the games, you have to take the whole back battery, because it's a pain in the butt to get the games in and out. And uh, here is quite a stack of my games. Uh, probably only have, I do have some loose ones as well. I think I got about half the collection. Okay, and Nintendo's stuff. A lot of Nintendo stuff. This is the Virtual Boy which was really a piece of garbage um, and I got the carrying case here which is real cool though and I do have the real rare game uh, Jack Brothers that's one of the really rare ones to have and I do have the complete collection right here as you can see um, got Waterworld which is a rare one as well this one is a uh, inter uh, international game but I do have the complete collection for the Virtual Boy uh, <clears throat> this one here is the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Comes with this little adapter. Uh, I think I actually have batteries in this one. So that comes on. Actually a pretty decent uh, little system. Again, I don't think this thing has a back light on it. And these are all the games I have for the system here. Uh, quite a few of them. It's, uh, it's actually an easy, it's actually the easiest Neo Geo collection to collect for because the games are pretty cheap still uh, gotta have metal slug gotta have metal slug if you if you ever click Neo Geo that's the best game of all and then to wrap it up here we got the Nintendo 3DS which I have some games for the Game Boy Advance the Game Boy Color the Nintendo DS uh, Game Boy Pocket another Game Boy Color the original Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance SP, as well as this little uh, magnifying glass for the original Game Boy. And I do have some games, let me show you that. Uh, I'll take the camera from here, thank you. And just so you can Hi. see some of the games I had too for the 3DS, I, didn't, I couldn't fit anything else on the table. And then uh, this whole next shelf, these are all Game Boy Advance games. Uh, down here is Game Boy games and Nintendo DS games but I do have more Game Boy games than that right here is my Game Boy collection and for me to try to pull all these out and show them would just I would need like three three four tables there's so many I got 335 Game Boy games no duplicates all out of all the Tetrises all the Kirby's all the Castlevanias the Final Fantasy Legends a lot of the real good stuff and one of these days I'm gonna get around to playing some of these games they've been sitting here for a while because I got so many games to play and also over here these are my Game Boy Color games in black and they're two row this I, I usually don't stack my games like this but I got nowhere else to put these right now but I have a little about 250 Game Boy Color games and these are Game Gear games, but uh, you could see I did my Game Gear games already in one of my Sega collection videos if you want to see what I got. And that's basically it. So, a lot of stuff. I got enough systems here. I could take a, a busload of people, a busload of 20 people, and all 20 people would have a different system to play, basically. So, they're a lot of fun. A lot of these I still got to try. Lynx is a lot of fun. Virtual Boy, eh, doesn't give me a headache, but it gives a lot of people headaches. But I've all been okay with that. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. I'm going to do uh, another one maybe during the week or next weekend. I still got a lot more stuff to cover. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.